If you're asking, where's my specific person? If you're asking, why isn't it happening? Am I doing something wrong? I bet almost all of you are doing this in a way that is not helping you. So I'm gonna tell you how to do it in a way that is helping you. Because every time that you think about it, you've conditioned yourself to be triggered because you're annoyed that it didn't happen yet. This is real change. And I know that this is going to happen my way. That's easy. Hey guys, I'm Jasmine with Manifest Fast with Jasmine, and in this video I'm going to tell you about how to manifest a specific person when it's taking too long. I know that a lot of you guys are concerned about the amount of time that it takes to manifest your specific person, and you wonder if you're doing it right, and you're wondering if you can do something better, or if you're doing something wrong. I'm going to give you guys three tips and potentially a bonus tip, so make sure that you stay tuned all the way till the end so that you get all of those awesome tips that I'm gonna give you guys about this. And I swear to God, if you watch till the end, you will have a much better idea of exactly what to do to manifest your specific person, no matter how long it's been. By the way, if you guys have been watching my videos and you like my videos, make sure that you click the subscribe button. Click that bell button right next to the subscribe button because if you click all, you'll receive all notifications instead of none. If you have questions after you watch this video, you can bring them to my live Q&A in my group. I have live Q&A and two Law of Attraction classes in that group per week. That link is below for you guys. I talked about this in some previous videos but I'm gonna talk about it a little bit again because I think this is a really really good tool that can help just about anybody who wants to manifest anything and that is something that I call the long game the long game is basically living in the end it's a technique that I use to live in the end and I think this is going to help you guys live in the end and make it easier for you we all know that you're supposed to live in the end live in the wish fulfilled and know that it's done. But almost nobody knows how to do that and it seems to be really difficult to do and at least difficult to maintain for most people. But here's what I want you to do with it. And I'm gonna give you more tips about this, but here's the, the first tip. Basically, it's like, I know that no matter what I see, I know that no matter what happens right now, I know that no matter what circumstance is being shown to me right now, no matter what the responses or reactions that I'm seeing right now, I know that in the end, I'm going to get this thing. I know that in the end, this is mine. I know that in the end, it's done. And it's okay. No matter what wants to happen now, let it happen. Let it all fall apart, let it blow up, let it come back together. It doesn't matter because I'm playing the long game and I can see down the road and I know that this is going to happen my way. So if you're thinking like that, first of all, you're not necessarily expecting a pickup to occur, but if it does occur, it doesn't matter because you have this idea of long game. And when you think about long game, you're thinking about basically you're, you're holding the image of the end and the vibration and thought of the end in your mind. You're thinking about it somewhere out there down the road, but you are thinking that that's where you're going. And that's what it means to live in the end is to know where you're going and to hold that image and that thought in your mind when you think about the situation. So I want you to play the long game. The second thing that I have for you guys, and this is going to really help you guys because I bet almost all of you are doing this in a way that is not helping you. So I'm going to tell you how to do it in a way that is helping you. Now here's the thing. Most people who are trying to manifest, especially if you're trying to manifest a specific person or something that's really important to you, most people are going about it with the idea of this thing needs to change. I need to change this thing. It's in just the way that it is. I can't handle it the way that I don't like the way that it is. It needs to change. And they wake up every morning and they say, did it change? Did it change? Did it change? Did it change? I deserve for this to change. I want this to change. I'm unhappy without it changing. It needs to change. And I'm going to apply law of attraction until it changes. Well, that's your first fuck up, okay? Because that's gonna get you the opposite results. I'm gonna tell you how to do it the right way. All right, so let's talk about it. So here's what you wanna do. And at first, this does not make sense to anyone, but think about law of attraction. Law of attraction means that whatever you believe, you receive. Law of attraction acts in accordance to your belief systems. And whatever you say and believe most dominantly and most deeply, is what you're going to get more of. So if you wake up every morning and you say, this thing needs to change, that's what you get more of. 
oh, needs to change, needs to change. More things that you're gonna feel like need to change and be different from the way that they already are. That's not what you want, okay? If you're applying law of manifesting, law of attraction, you have to become the vibration of the thing that you desire in order to attract more of that thing that you actually desire. So you have to put away the complaining mechanism and you have to implement the satisfaction mechanism and the gratitude mechanism, for instance. You have to entertain the thing that you want as if it already were. We already know these things. Okay, great. So imagine if you implemented this thought that, you know what? Everything is perfect. Nothing needs to change. Nothing needs to change. It's already done. It's already perfect. It's already awesome. It's already amazing. And that's really, really hard when you keep thinking about the thing all the time. Because every time that you think about it, you've conditioned yourself to be triggered because you're annoyed that it didn't happen yet. So that's number three, okay? Number three, I'm gonna help you with that. So that you don't have to be triggered all the time by this thing that is annoying to you. So number three is, well, I call it stability, but the way that you're going to achieve your stability is you're going to start pushing the subject to the side and saying, you know what, fuck it, I don't have to think about it right now. I'm not gonna think about that right now. Not trying not to think about it, but you know, just, I don't have to. I don't have to. Why? Because it's already done. I'm playing the long game. It's taking care of itself. I know how this works. It's, I, I don't, I'm just gonna let it go. I'm just gonna, and by let it go, it, letting go does not mean letting go of your desire and that it's not going to come. It is the opposite. You're letting go of the problem, letting go of the issue, letting go of the resistance, and letting go of the misalignment that you're creating that is keeping you from manifesting the thing that you want. Those are the only things that you're letting go of. Because think about it. If I say, I'm happy, I'm secure, I'm fulfilled, I'm satisfied, I'm fucking rich, and I'm fucking happy. If I start saying those things and really believing it and experiencing it and, you know, just feeling that, I'm gonna get more of that by law of attraction. So it's the opposite of the complaining, it's the opposite of the feeling unjust, it's the opposite of being bothered. Whatever you have to do to stop being bothered and make yourself more stable, like stably aligned, stably in alignment, stably in the vortex, stably happy, whatever it is that you wanna say. And I'm not saying that you have to be happy, go lucky all the time. You just kind of want to be okay. Happy comes as a result of, yeah, alignment for sure, it does. But you don't have to anything, that is the point. Nothing has to happen here because have to, that's pressure, right? I have to be happy or I have to forget about this or I have to just accept whatever it is right now and let it go. That is the best way to neutralize a negative thought or something that you feel like you can't get over in the moment or you know oh, I'm trying to let go of it but I can't okay fine whatever you neutralize it by not caring about it and not keeping it going and not adding fuel to the fire with your upset with your outrage with your urgency and your desperation and your need to try to implement or make something happen do your best to drop the subject and not have to worry about it this is going to help you with the whole nothing needs to change it's fine you want to start to condition yourself to experience life in that way what would it be like if nothing really did need to change what would it be like if I was enjoying my life as if it's already perfect, as if I already have everything that I want? When you start learning presence, the consciousness and being in the moment and awareness and all of those things, that's a lot of what manifesting and law of attraction is. Okay, law of manifesting, law of attraction. It is learning that it is within. And this sounds so wishy-washy, spiritual, stupid stuff, but manifesting is all about changing your mind, redirecting your mind, and learning how to control yourself from the inside because that's the only way to control your outside, is really actually gaining very good control over your inside, not being tossed about by the ocean of life or the circumstances that you may perceive, which what you perceive you can change. It is very important to practice, what would it be like if I could just let it all go and follow my joy and be happy right now? What would it be like if I already had this thing? What would that feel like? What would that be like? 
just entertaining that, just to entertain it, just because that's fun, just because that's nice. There's something good about being able to entertain the end just for fun, just because you like it, not because you're trying to bang something into place. Try to settle into that. Try to make that happen for yourself. And you know what? Do these three things. After a while, I don't mean for three hours, I don't mean for three days, give it a few weeks. You're going to see a big difference. And when it comes to the thing taking too long, if you're asking, where's my specific person? If you're asking, why isn't it happening? Am I doing something wrong? That's what you're doing wrong. Because when you start to actually do what I'm saying and say, I'm satisfied, I'm happy, I'm secure, it's done. I'm playing the long game. I know there's nothing for me to do. It's already done. It's already perfect. There's nothing that needs to change. When you're actually doing that, you never go back and change and say, oh, where'd the thing go? Did it work? That's the evidence that you didn't actually truly change, that you didn't actually truly implement what I have said. You pretended and then you look back and you pretend and then you look back. And that's a really big tip for you guys because a lot of people end up doing that. This is real change. You can't fool the universe. You can't fool the universe into thinking that you have a vibration or a thought that you're not actually having. So it has to be real change and you have to start to actually enjoy yourself. But you know what? That is a fate that is wonderful and awesome and you're gonna love it every step of the way when you start to actually do it. If you're still watching this video, that means that you liked it. So click that like button, click the subscribe button, hit all to receive all notifications and bang that bell. If you still have questions after watching this video, just bring them to my live group on Facebook where I have live Q and A and two manifestation classes per week for you guys. That link is below. I also have my course on seven steps to consistent instant manifestation if you're interested in that and coaching. All those links are below. Here's a playlist that I highly recommend for you guys if you want to learn more about manifesting. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. That's easy.